When will you start negotiations with Boris Johnson? Look, let me get the election results out of the way. Uh, if it is the case, and I believe it looks very strongly that way that the SNP is re-elected to government and that I will continue as First Minister, as I said during the election, my first priority on Monday morning is to get back to work to steer the country through COVID. And when the time is right, uh, I will uh, use that mandate, if there is a mandate for an independence referendum, to offer the people of Scotland uh, that choice. But first things first is continuing to steer us through the COVID crisis. But it won't be sudden. You're not going to surprise us with it. When will you start the negotiations with Boris, jo uh, Boris Johnson for India F2? Because well, you're going to want a we'll, Section 30 order, we'll, aren't you? We'll have to wait and see how things go over the next uh, weeks and uh, beyond that with COVID. My first focus, and I, I didn't just say this in the election to try to win people's votes, I meant it. Uh, I'm going to focus on steering the country through COVID. And when we are through that, that's when um, I will assert that mandate, if we indeed have that mandate, uh, to give the people of Scotland the choice over their future and the choice of independence. And when you do that, what happens when he says no, as he has done already, as <laughs> Theresa May before him we, did? Do you know what? Boris Johnson is not immune from democracy. We're midway through an election count here. I think we should probably wait and see how the remainder of the uh, results go. But the fact that we're standing here right now talking in the terms we are about whether or not, and that it is on a knife edge, that the SNP in a PR system after three terms in government might win an overall majority shows the strength of support for the SNP and the proposition we put before the Scottish people. And in a democracy, those outcomes should be respected. And it is for Scotland to determine whether or not we become independent, not for Boris Johnson.